I'm James Adams. I'm the professor and chair of emergency medicine at Northwestern University in Chicago, Illinois. There, there seemed to me a role for a practical textbook and a pl much more applied textbook. And, and uh, to have a textbook that is applied with algorithms, with pictures, with graphs, with, without having the pathophysiology phys deeply described in the book, but, but much more of a practical reasoning of why we do and what should be, takes up a lot of pages. And structuring according to the core curriculum and having that app applied information seemed very important to the field. So the, the philosophy of the first edition really seemed to resonate, that people liked it and gave very good feedback. But it was a first edition, and I was happy that the first edition came off well, but there, there's always the opportunity to do better. We enhanced some areas, minimized others, but st stayed with the same basic philosophy. We wanted a lot of, of boxes and tables and graphs and algorithms. We wanted to be able to look in a highly efficient way at the information and the logic of practice. We wanted the voice and the mind of the expert teacher on the pages to help guide us through the reasoning. So we were able to take that and improve literally every chapter in the book. So every chapter went through a, a, a depth of rewrite and we got a chance to re-edit and upgrade the whole, the whole work. So the philosophy stayed the same, the intention stayed the same. The table of contents still mirrors the core content of the specialty that it's still written by experts in the field, the expert teachers. Um, but we got a chance to, after a number of years and a good reception, to get, really go back at it and update and improve. We know that emergency physicians and emergency medicine residents in particular have to have to read. You can't be a great emergency physician unless we have a lot of depth of content knowledge. But getting there can be tedious and can be boring. I wanted a book that was not boring. I wanted a book that was active, applied, useful, engaging, the chapters relatively short, and as active as possible. And that's where the boxes and the algorithms come in. So, so as we read text, the, person, the learner can match it up and can really internalize and find it easier to remember this, this information. And so that was the spirit in which the book is written. I wanted something that the residents would find readable, I would, would find appealing, and would find that they would be wanting to and able to go back to. I also had in mind the teachers. There are people, enormously talented people, out there teaching the residents every day in areas of their expertise. And I wanted their lecture notes, but written in a textbook form, so that when they wanted to teach students or residents or even practicing attendings, that they could pull out the textbook, find the algorithms that they had from their slides, find their teaching concepts, find the way that they crystallized the information, and then they could take the learner through that. Then the learner could take that book, read it at their leisure, and refresh the material. So it was a combination of the master teacher's lecture notes, as well as uh, good tools for the learner, presented in a way that the learner would find easy and approachable, and then something that they could go back to. Yeah, so we're already finding outside the country that it's appealing because there's people who, who need that applied work uh, and so that they can use it as a learning text and a reference text at once. It's not o so overly simplified uh, it, because it does have explanation there and that reasoning is important. We find that it's useful because many rural emergency departments don't have emergency physicians. Many of the rural departments have family doctors or sometimes only PAs or NPs. So it's a readable text that they can use that's, that provides depth and logic for them of how the emergency physician thinks and what they know. Also, there's a lot of very small books, abbreviated books, uh, that may be useful for, uh, for reference, but for a family practitioner who's out in a rural area, sometimes they don't have enough depth. And so this book, is an, as an applied book, can be, can be really beneficial to them. That's, while, while there's huge use there, it was still meant 
for emergency medicine residents in training and that was the learner that we had in mind.